Hi there. At the end of a challenging week, um, everybody here, here, everybody in the team is uh, reasonably upbeat, quite positive um, about how we're dealing with the situation. Um, I'm very proud of the team and their efforts. Uh, we said at the beginning we wanted to know what any shortfall from normal was. So we're tracking very carefully where things should be and if they fall short of that, we want to be able to measure that and hopefully make up for it in some way as well, or at least understand what it is. Um, some areas of the business are way off normal um, and others are running absolutely as they would be any other week or month. Uh, the team here have been doing some extraordinary things to keep the, the wheels of the wagon rolling. I'm very proud of them. Um, like I say, we're all a bit tired here at the moment, but uh, yeah, things things have gone as well as they could have gone this week, I think. So um, I'm, actually, I'm also, one of the reasons for being, being up, Debbie, is I'm sure that some of these things that we're looking at as being extraordinary right now might become, when we come out at the end of this, more normal. You know, I'm thinking about some of the innovative uses of IT, um, e-signing, video calls are the most obvious thing, but there's quite a few other things that we've thought. Um, it sort of forced us to do things in a slightly different way, and that's been no bad thing as well. So, you know, necessity is the mother of invention after all. So, uh, how are we getting on with the business of finding, fixing, renting, and managing property? So, finding property first, um, and this is the, 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 the list that we're gonna go through in every update. Um, it's, it is what we think, certainly what we're interested in as a business and uh, what landlords, all their questions at the moment are falling into one of those four, four categories. So first of all, um, the supply of investable property. Um, last week we sailed, agreed a normal number of properties, but in a very non-normal way. Um, you know, talking about knowing what normal is and making up for a shortfall. Um, almost all the state agents have stopped doing viewings. Um, so that is way, way off normal. You know, almost, if we hadn't have been able to do other things, um, our business would have would have dropped off the proverbial, proverbial cliff. So um, we can actually still do viewings ourselves, uh, taking the government recommendations, um, recommended precautions, um, we're not sure how much longer that can continue or how much longer it's sensible to do that, but certainly most estate agents have stopped doing it anyway. Uh, however, none of the properties we bought last week we actually viewed last week. Uh, we've got a back catalogue of previous viewings that we've done. Uh, we keep very careful uh, records of those. And we're trawling back through that list and re-offering on previously uh, properties that we, uh, we we were knocked back on. So uh, it's put us in a very, very strong position. Estate agents are sat at home working. Um, pe people can't do viewings, but we've got this back catalogue of viewings that we've already done. And between ourselves and uh, estate agents, we are picking up properties that way, sale agreeing green properties. And I think that that will continue over the next couple of weeks. Um, on the demand side, that is um, landlords wanting to buy, we're seeing unprecedented levels, um, incoming calls from landlords who want to buy investable property, far more than we could supply even in normal times, let alone these. Um, I do wonder if prices of sort of sub £100,000 properties after this, uh, this crisis are going to rise faster than um, you know, before. You know, there's definitely a lot of demand for the kind of properties that we're looking for out there. Uh, conveyancing, conveyancing is still happening. There was much in the news last week about the property market being halted. Um, also a bit of accusation that the government weren't being clear. As we found in most cases, um, the government were being very clear, but if you only half read it or half understood it, then um, you, th there was a, an of a, a way that confusion could creep in. Um, reading directly from the government's website, this is, this is um, you know, sort of a pricey of it, but uh, the government wants as many uh, house moves as possible to be postponed, um, which sounds what the, the house market stopped. The average UK house uh, market is sold, sold at a chain, obviously, and if you think about how many actors could be involved in that, it could be 100, you know, all, depending how long the chain is, every person in the household, every person helping them move are all possible cross-contamination. The government definitely wants to stop that kind of, kind of uh, move going on. Um, however, they clearly said, if you carry on reading down the, the advice, um, that although the kind of house sales, normal ones, should be uh, postponed for three months or so, in, unless they absolutely can't be, that, that was also made clear, um, the government advice goes on to say, um, 
that buying a house is not only uh, acceptable, but it, it needs to carry on as normal for the sake of the economy, essentially, like I'm, I'm praising in there. Um, so over the next weeks and months, I can see a significant opportunity for us to increase the number of properties we own. Um, I appreciate there's a dire country, countrywide situation. Uh, I wouldn't want us to be accused of taking advantage of any situation here. Um, we aren't reducing the uh, the level of our offers. The um, uh, we'll pay the same as always. It's simply that more people are now going to be accepting our offers, whereas before they weren't they, and wouldn't do that. That's what happened with all the properties that we sale agreed last last week. Um, our offer didn't change. Um, but now it was acceptable to the vendor. Um, I don't believe that that's taken advantage. It's providing um, you know, vital liquidity in the market, if nothing else. Um, buying houses that others can't buy, uh, renovating them, turning them into decent, safe homes, um, affordable homes for long-term renters is uh, always something that uh, a good landlord can be proud to be involved in. I'm, I'm certainly um, absolutely fine with, with buying more houses and doing those, those things and providing long-term houses for renters. Um, so that's buying houses. Still going on uh, in a very, very different way, but I think that there's a, a big opportunity there uh, right now and coming out the other side of this, we'll, we'll definitely be buying more houses. I, I can see that. Fixing property, um, you know, renovating and, and getting getting builders onto sites. Some sites are open, some are not, depending on exactly what work's going on. Um, different contractors have different thoughts on how they're going to proceed. All are working to government recommended precautions and we've stressed to them that they, uh, they need to stay safe. It's unclear what necessary really means and I think that's the, the, the crux of it. Um, the guidance is work from home unless you can't and clearly a builder cannot fit a kitchen in one of our properties working from home. Is their work necessary? That's uh, the big question, I guess. Um, perhaps it's to them if they can't feed their families. Um, we're leaving it to all subcontractors to decide for themselves. Um, they're all subcontractors, they run, run their own businesses. We're leaving it up to them to decide. Um, we are relaxing deadlines and we're just keeping a close watch for this next week. Um, that combined with some supply shortages, you know, some materials and whatnot, um, has slowed some work, although others it hasn't slowed it at all. Um, we're not at a dead stop by any means. Things are moving. We completed on three projects last week. They were handed over, ready to rent. So, and tenants are waiting as well. And they were lined up beforehand. So. Most of our suppliers, that is um, material suppliers, tell us they are working on plans to bring, bring back deliveries soon. And it doesn't say exactly what soon is. But. So that's, that's fixing. Uh, renting. Um, this is perhaps the area where most effort has been expended this week. Uh, March is almost a record breaking month for us, um, which is pretty incredible in the, in the circumstances. Um, and even more incredible because lots of applications did pull out. That is, we had people lined up to move into a property and it did not go ahead. They pulled out because um, either they were directly affected by the virus medically or financially, so they pulled out. Um, a massive effort from the team here, and I've got to say thank you to all of those, um, saw more properties rented by the end of the week than normal. Um, how did we do that? Simply. We spun the carousel around once more, filled it up with new applicants who weren't affected. And it you know, stands to reason if people are still applying last week, then they weren't affected. Um, picking up the phones, uh, re responding to emails. And the team here worked from early morning to late at night to, um, to achieve that. It was particularly tricky because all our viewings now are unaccompanied, uh, although there were team members close by. Um, we would open a door, let them in, which doesn't sound particularly a lot, lot harder, but we've had to put key boxes up at every house. Um, that's about nearly 70 key boxes we've had to put up for all the viewings that are, are, are scheduled up ahead. Um, we can't do viewings on a property that's already occupied, so there was a lot more phone calls to make to, to book those things in, but all they, they happened. Um, we also took the time to video as many properties that were empty as we possibly can. We've created virtual viewing packs, again, taking more time. That's why, you know, working, burning the midnight oil to get these things done. Uh, if we couldn't do viewing uh, videos because people were in the house, we used stock photographs. But essentially now we've got a pack for every, almost, almost every, and by the end of next week, the aim is every house that, uh, 
is on the market to rent, uh, that we can email to applicants, they can do a virtual viewing and be almost certain that they want to take the property uh, just, just using um, email and, 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 and the internet looking at, at videos. So using those methods, um, we rented more properties. We also took, took on several new landlords. We took on four new landlords last week as well because they'd heard that we could do this. They had empty property. We went around and did those things and we're doing the virtual viewing. So uh, yeah, where most agents were just closed, um, we were able to pick up new business, uh, list property and get the property let agreed and it's now in referencing. So um, I'm particularly pleased about that. Uh, I think it says um, something about the team here and, and the business. So yeah. I'm, particularly happy about that. Uh, we've also seen a large number of landlords, it's worth noting, uh, with serviced accommodation units, which is not something we, we manage ourselves, but they're converting them back to standard rents. Um, just an interesting side note, two of those landlords that we picked up last week were serviced accommodation that had dropped off a cliff, literally no more viewings, uh, no more um, uh, bookings, and we have re-rented them as a single let. So. That's renting. Now onto the, the long-term management of property. That's the business of looking after tenants, the tenancy, and your property as well. So first, some good news. Um, all rent and legal cover insurance providers, they stopped insuring about seven days ago. However, however, on Friday, last Friday, we got the amazing news that our provider is back. So we can now offer full rent and legal insurance prote uh, protection on, uh, on tenancies. Um, we announced it at 4 p.m. last Friday. Um, we've been inundated, as you might expect, and the team have been busy this weekend getting cases through. Um, rent and legal cover will pay your rent if your tenant can't. So you can see why people would be interested in that. Uh, all in, It's definitely worth and sort of this little caveat here. All insurance is subject to underwriting, uh, so we can't guarantee you're going to be accepted. That's that's obviously um, from, from, from the insurer. Um, but if you're worried about arrears or the three month, the new three month notice period which came in, um, this could be an option for you. Worth noting that three month um, notice period, that is you've got to give three months notice to, on your tenant, uh, section 21 and section eight now, if you want to evict. Um, it doesn't apply if they're not affected by COVID-19. Uh, however, um, what the, the, the test, whether they are or aren't is, is unclear. So again, people, I think people are going to be interested in this um, rent and legal protection. However, I think that perhaps the reason that this insurer is back in the market is um, arrears aren't really the issue that we were bracing ourselves for. So far, not not hardly any, literally two. Um, there are more being talked about, but only two cases of uh, tenants going into arrears because of COVID-19. Um, in fact, last week, our overall arrears level went down a little bit. So um, you could only describe the situation there as normal, which is really good. Let's see what next month brings, but um, yeah. The idea of, uh, sorry, the, the, the uh, getting routine and non-urgent maintenance done, but onto maintenance now. Uh, almost all routine and non-urgent maintenance is on hold. Uh, that's just gonna be a backlog that will have to be cleared later. However, all emergency repairs can and are being undertaken. So not the end of the world by a, by a long chalk. Um, so all in all, a pretty good week, all things being considered. Um, several key areas of the business are slowing, but the, the critical stuff is definitely functioning okay. Um, let's see what happens with, with new business, you know, taking things forward. I think there might be opportunity, and if there is, we will definitely grab it. Uh, however, the core of what we are doing, keeping the houses and rooms full, collecting rent and keeping our tenants in decent, safe homes seems largely unaffected for now. More updates to follow.